Hello guys and welcome to another Tokyo Revengers video. And in this video, I will be talking about the newest season of the Tokyo Revengers anime. But before I start this video guys, let me tell you guys that this video is going to contain manga spoilers from Tokyo Revengers. So let's get into the video now. So in case you guys did not know, we just got a new trailer for season 3 of Tokyo Revengers, and this season will be covering the Tenjuku arc. And in this trailer we got to see all the new characters that will be introduced in this new season, and these new characters will be the main antagonists of this new arc. And this trailer did an amazing job of giving us a preview of this new season, and many fans have been patiently waiting in anticipation of this new season. And at the end of this trailer they also announced the release date of this new season, and we learned that this new season will be released in October of 2023. However many people noticed that this release date is a lot sooner than a lot of us expected, and the fact that this new season comes out in only 4 months has many people worrying that the season will be very rushed. And in my opinion they are definitely rushing the production of this new season, and there are many reasons why I came to this conclusion. And the reason why I say this is because the last episode of Tokyo Revengers came out only 2 months ago, and this means that they will have only 6 months to work on a whole entire season. And we know that the first season of Tokyo Revengers was released in April of 2021, and this means that they had over two years to work on the animation for season two. And the reason why they are rushing the production for this new season could be because they want the series to keep making money as soon as possible, however there is no confirmation on why this new season is coming so soon. And I have seen that many people were frustrated with the animation quality of the second season, and the fact that they have so much less time to work on season 3 means that the animation quality could be even worse. And in my opinion there is no reason to rush the production of this season, and the reason why I say this is because basically every other anime waited at least a year to work on a season. For example, we know that the production team for Demon Slayer had over a whole entire year to work on season 3, and after the ending of season 2 they waited over 15 months to give us a new season. And so because of this, it really makes me think that 4 months will not be enough time for the production team to properly make season 3 of Tokyo Revengers, and this is why I think that this new season will be very rushed. And this upcoming arc is famously known as the best arc in the story of Tokyo Revengers, and the author will be using season 3 to show us the Tenjuku arc. And many fans have very high hopes for this new season, so I think that it would be a big disappointment if the adaptation for the Tenjuku arc is going to be low quality. And this trailer starts off by showing us Takemichi and Shifuyu, and then the scene immediately switches to Kasaki. And in this moment we get to see a scene from chapter 127, and in this scene Takemichi is saying that he is going to make Kasaki pay for his crimes. And the next part of this trailer immediately switches focus to showing us the first meeting of Mikey and Izana, and this scene is from chapter 129. And then in the next scene we saw that Izana started introducing himself to Mikey, and in this moment he is saying that his name is Izana Kurokawa. And the next sequence of events goes on to show us the introduction of the four heavenly kings, and we also get to see Rindo Haitani. And then the next scene shows us the battle of Mitsuya versus Kanji Machizuki, and while he is fighting against his opponent we can see that Kanji is saying that he is having a lot of fun. And in the next scene we immediately get to see the appearance of Rindo Haitani, and Rindo is telling them not to keep all the fun for themselves. However the next scene shows us the moment where Ran Haitani is stepping on Mitsuya, and in this moment Ran is saying that he got Mitsuya. And we also got to see a close-up face shot of Ran Haitani, and Ran is saying that Toman is not a gang they can beat easily, and he also said that they have to attack while their guard is down. And the next scene shows us the introduction of one of the four heavenly kings, and in this moment we can see that Shion Matarame is beating up a Toman member. And Shion is repeatedly punching the Toman member in the face, and after beating up the Toman member we saw that he started licking his brass knuckles. And this trailer ends by showing us the leader of the four heavenly kings, and the character that I am talking about is Kakucho. And in this scene the author is showing us that Kakucho is talking to Takemichi, and these two characters are having a conversation together. And the last scene of this trailer shows us a scene from chapter 134, and this scene is showing us the moment where Takamichi is shaking hands with Naoto, and we can see that they have blood right next to their hands. So this is where this trailer ends, and this is the end of this video. And so let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this new trailer. 
Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, and want to see more like it then like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.